All right, so let's talk about three attached things. So the overall kind of formula is AX3. Um, so a good example of this one is BF3, boron trifluoride. If you think about trying to get three things as far away as possible, you're gonna form essentially a triangle kind of looking thing. And then if you think about these bond angles, it's a triangle, so it's divided by three spots, 360 divided by three is 120 degrees. And so the name of this is trigonal planar. And so if we go to our model right here, we've got linear. On this top right here, we're gonna add one more bond. And you see it's like this triangle that's flat, right? And you can see in the bottom left, both of the names are trigonal planar. And then if you take a look at the bond angles, they're all 120 degrees. You have to be careful with some of this stuff a bit. So let's take a look at H2CO. Again, I'm not gonna draw any of the lone pairs on the outside stuff. And so this carbon still has three things attached. So it's still just trigonal planar. But now we've got double bonds and single bonds. And double bonds, you can think of them as being bigger than single bonds or having more electrons than single bonds. So they repel more. And so this bond angle, instead of being 120 degrees, we say it's greater than 120 degrees. And same thing with this one, greater than 120 degrees because that, that double bond is repelling more. And then this bond angle become less than 120 degrees. What the exact number is depends on the exact molecule. We just, for our purposes, we're just gonna say uh, greater than or less than. Um, I think this is where this kind of simulation doesn't work too well. Uh, let's replace one of these with a double bond and then let's show the bond angles. Yeah, you see it's still reading 120, that, that is not correct. Um, so it does not account. This, this model version does not account for the fact that lone pairs and double bonds are bigger than, than single bonds. But that's okay. Still a pretty decent model. So here's three things attached, right? But if we think back to our original discussion on Vesper, the things attached don't necessarily have to be atoms. They could also be lone pairs. So let's take a look at that. And so the formula there we're going to give is AX2. E, where the X's are other atoms and the E's are lone pairs. So an example of this is SO2. And so if you draw the Lewis structure of SO2, you might come up with something like this, right? And so notice that the overall shape is still gonna be the same. You're still gonna kind of have this trigonal planar type of shape. And so what we say here is that the electron geometry of this shape is still trigonal planar, right? So it's still trigonal planar. However, there's a different type of shape. So there's the electron geometry, and then there's what we call the molecule geometry. And in the molecule geometry, we do not consider the lone pairs as part of the shape. And so if you ignore this lone pair, you can see that the overall function of this kind of compound, if you think about AX3, right, it's gonna be trigonal planar. And then we just ignore one of these because it's a lone pair. Now you can see we're no longer really looking trigonal planar, but what we're, what we're called is bent because this molecule looks bent. And so think about this bond angle, remember, Lone pairs repel more than single bonds, more than double bonds, more than triple bonds. So this bond angle is less than 120 degrees. And we call this shape as bent. The molecule shape is bent. The electron geometry is trigonal planar. So let's take a look at that our, at our molecule here, right? So there's the trigonal planar. You can see the bottom left, both the molecule and electron geometry are trigonal planar. Take away one of these bonds and then put a lone pair in instead. And so now you can see the molecule geometry says bent while the electron geometry is trigonal planar. So generally when you're talking about the shapes of molecules, we generally go with the molecule geometry. So if you have SO2 and someone doesn't explicitly say electron geometry, if they just say shape, chances are they're going for bent. Cool.